In deep icy waters beneath Antarctica, scientists found bulbous tunicates and colonies of newly discovered creatures believed related to starfish and other marine life. Elsewhere in the world's oceans, they have recently discovered a new species of blind lobster, giant bacteria, and a variety of underwater life forms new to science. It's all part of a research effort called the Census of Marine Life. There are about 2,000 scientists worldwide involved. Um, I think just about every country is involved in some way. It started in 2000, and it will go to 2010. Bob Gagosian of the Consortium for Ocean Leadership in Washington, D.C., helps manage the project. Everywhere they've gone, they've found new things, because we just, we, we've totally, the ocean basically is unexplored from the point of view of, of, uh, of marine organisms. Researchers have placed small markers on hundreds of fish and marine animals to track by satellite migration routes and to discover places where sea life congregates. According to Ron O'Dor, a senior scientist with the Census for Marine Life, knowledge of life on the ocean floor is especially limited. Ninety percent of all of the information we have is from the top hundred meters of the ocean. And he says the seafloor is, on average, at a depth of 4,000 meters. And so, as submersibles and robotic devices dive far below what people have previously seen, scientists are discovering bizarre species of plants, animals, and organisms thriving near hot ocean vents percolating from the ocean floor. Since the census project began, more than 5,300 new marine animals have been found. Ocean researchers say they hope to catalog 230,000 species during the census, which some say is only a fraction of all the creatures living in the sea. Paul Sisko, VOA News.